All right, people. Welcome back. More of I mean, why? So today is Thursday, but we are not using Cosmic Ebel today. We are actually using Ebel Zectors. Uh, kind of an edited change because you know, since uh, you know, the law was chain banning, I don't need to rely on you know Darkcrafter and uh, you know Horn as much to make that play. So uh, I'll be. I guess I'll go ahead and try Ladybug. I've never been the biggest fan just because I don't know how to do the XC plays that properly, but I'll try. I'll try. But anyway, uh, we've just seen a couple of different Ubel decks uh, this week, and, you know, things have been going okay, I must say. You know, things have not been absolutely terrible here on Brand New Life, so that is great. Uh, okay, I guess he's telling me when he can record in week. Right, that's, that's, that's like, okay. Okay. Anyway, this isn't about leaks, this is clearly about some bottom and why. Oh, some black wings. Mm, Alright, oh, this duel's gonna be difficult. Depending on how much back row he has. Because the Insector matchup against black wings, I don't think it's too terrible, you know. With him being able to equip on equip pop his monsters, I mean, you know, he'll definitely powder out of resources, you know. It's like this cool story with you, you know, your clutes and stuff. Mm. I got a lot of sending, but we didn't get any on Zectors. And I'm running the norm, you know, I'm running, you know, I'm running the centipedes, the, the dragonflies, the ladybugs, so we just didn't get any. You got a ton of senders and, you know, no one to uh, keep us too organized. You know, I'm trying to find the right ratio with uh, senders and grabbers, because uh, that's definitely one of the things that I saw when it comes to Zectors. <clears throat> When I was looking at some deck profiles, I was like, okay, well, you know, they're running, like, you know, Armageddon, Nines, Mathematicians, but Mathematicians really didn't have synergy with Evil, you know. So I replaced, you know, Mathematicians with the Dark Graphers, but, you know, I didn't need too many. Uh, really, I think I'm only running one Dark Graffer. So I'm running three Armageddon Knights, one Dark Graffer, and three Rota. So, uh, this, it just happens to be that we just opened up a crap load of a frickin' uh, Zenders, you know, Foolish, too. It's like, okay, I guess. I think, I think, what else? I think I took out Centipede. Yeah, I took out Centipede. I mean, not Centipede. I'd be terrible if I took out Centipede. I took out Masquerian, because I kind of felt like uh, Masquerian really didn't have much synergy with this deck. You know, I mean, I literally put in Masquerian, before I had Masquerian and Phantom of Chaos in here, literally just as an engine. Like, it was, they were literally in here. Just to, uh, uh, just to, uh, revive Rebellion, I guess, revive Phantom of Chaos, but they didn't have any synergy with the Insectors, you know. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, I could just go ahead and put, you know, some more revival in. So maybe I'll go ahead and fix that, maybe tweak that a little bit. Oh my god, it's got the whirlwind. Here we go, people, here we go. Yep. So you can search for any Blackwing, here we go. I was thinking about sending an Insector with my Foolish, but I didn't want to reveal my deck, you know. I mean, revealing that I have Ubel, that's fine, you know. But revealing that, you know, that I'm playing Insectors, I wasn't too keen on that too early, you know. So, if post comes to sub, I might just go ahead and summon them again and I, you know, send uh, uh, Dragonflies and activate the call and summon if need be. If need be, okay. He's gonna go ahead and search special. Oh, I guess he's gonna go ahead and go into a Beals, in which case, wow, here we go. <laughs> yep, yep, some special, 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 special. <laughs> okay, he's just jumped the hell out of you. They are the deck that jumps you. He went from one monster in the field to four. Like, look at that, look at that. He's trying to jump out the bushes and stab me right now. I ain't about that life. I ain't trying to get stabbed. <laughs> so you're level 5, right? Yep, you're level 5, you're level 3. So, Soraku's putting in a lot more work ever since, you know, Blackwing started turning to Beals a lot more. They really have. And seen them doing a lot more Beals plays. Yeah, so, 
you know, instead of running Mass Chameleon, who really only has synergy with Phantom Chaos and Ubel, I was thinking about playing more Revival, you know. Of course, the Call of the Haunt is Oasis Limit Reverses, but then shit, I saw a couple deck profiles running, like, you know, uh, Powerful Reverse and, uh, uh, what's that one card? You saw that, I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of it. It's in the deck now. Oh my god, the hand, and I summon a monster, and you can't destroy it, but battle by card effect. I can't, for the love of god me, I cannot remember the name of that fucking card. And there is Armor Master. Alright, so I'm at 700, so I lose 18. Ouch. That's black things for you. A path to get jumped. Yep. Actually, I might go ahead and just activate the Call of Haunted now, because I'm definitely planning on Exitoning. Like, fuck it. If he's going to attack me with Gale, then I might as well block the attack and summon Armageddon Knight. Uh, hopefully we get some Revival. So I will be great. You got the clue? No, you're just gonna lance me. Okay, so I dropped down to 600. So, the math though. Like, awesome. It was Lance the entire time. I thought he had the clue. Like, nah, he didn't have a clue. He just wanted to go ahead and kill me. Because he knew I was going to fuck him up. I guess it's my fault for getting greedy. There's Bills. Stardust. Oh, okay. See? See? This is the problem with me revealing that I'm playing in Zectors. As soon as I revealed it. Yeah, you got it. Let me, you know what? Let me let me see. Wow. I mean, I don't want none of those. Oh, you got it. As soon as you summon Star, I see. I fucked up. I shouldn't have revealed. I should have just took the damage and kept it pushing. I thought I, I thought I had something. I was like, well, he can't get over me, so you know. But I didn't know he was gonna have the Forbidden Lance. So then, as soon as he, as soon as I dropped on Zector, see, I knew I shouldn't have revealed. As soon as I revealed, he was like, let's go anti Zector. You know, straight up. Not only do I'm gonna kill your monster, that could totally. Uh, make allow you to go into NXT to handle this duel, but then I'm gonna fuck you up too. Wow! And then I now I get a hand with no revival. Hopefully, Pot will go ahead and show me something. Oh, there's Armageddon Knight. Well, I'll definitely be taking him. Definitely be taking him. There's no doubt in my mind. There it is, pinpoint guard. That's what it is. Pretty much when my opponent declares an attack, I can go ahead and summon it. See, see, Pimple Guy would have been great with Armageddon Knight last duel. Cause then he couldn't have killed my Armageddon Knight. And I could have summoned, made Nixie, you know. Done, done a lot more plays if I had Pinpoint Guard. So, I just need to find out, figure out what ratio I want to do. The problem with Insectors is that I draw them. And then, you know, some Insectors, of course, aren't as good as others. Like, of course, Ladybug isn't as good as Centipede or Dragonfly. So, it's kind of difficult to find the correct ratio when it comes to cards like that. I might hold on. I'm gonna hold on to the pinpoint guard because right now the only thing I have in my graveyard is Ubel, so I don't want him to just blind space my pinpoint guard. He wants to blind space one of these two cards. More power to you, but do not blind space my pinpoint guard. Like no, thank you. I'd rather hold on to that. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe just increasing like the sending ratio. See, I know you're just gonna go ahead and throw the MST at me. Cool story, bro. Now I'm gonna go ahead and summon Terror. See? I said I'd rather you throw the MST at my freaking Like if if we do decide to keep this deck and have it return, but of course different like I said the mass chameleons they just kinda played with Ebel, it's not necessary. I was thinking about maybe just increasing increasing the sending, increasing the revival, you know. Just literally have, you know just for exactors literally just having Centipede and Dragonfly. Because I, I like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of Ladybug, so I'm not I don't feel like I really need it. Alright, so, 
It's going to attack me for 400. That's fine. So when your opponent monster, okay, you know what? I'm not liking Pinball Guard because now my opponent's monster is never going to declare attack. Ugh. I didn't really think that one out too well. And the Uvel deck. All right, so I should probably put Powerful Rebirth instead. Which, of course, lets me target... I think it's like target a level 4 lower monster, special summon it, and it gains a level 100 attack. So, you know, I could just have fun with that. But my sendings, you know... Uh, Armageddon and I start refer to Mystic Tomatoes, because they're all, you know, preparing for sending or summoning, actually. Because at least Mystic Tomato can summon Ladybug. Uh, I mean, Ladybug. Well, and Dragonfly, too. But, like I said, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of other Insectors right now. Hmm... I'm not sure if I want to overextend too much. I think I might just go ahead and summon the Mr. Tomato attack, crash, take the 400, and, uh, and summon Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight, send Hornet, and prepare for the other insectors. You know, I think that, I think that might not be too terrible, because if, if I can send them to the graveyard quickly, you know, you know, send my, okay, that's fine. I didn't think he was going to do it. I really didn't. I didn't think he was going to do it. I think he's like, wow, you're just going to attack into me? Fine. Instead, he's like, no, 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 no. I want to use my effect. Okay, use your effect then. That's fine. Go ahead. Okay, okay that's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Let me get this straight. You say effect, you know. You're like, oh, I know. Like, I say effect when to say my effect. You're like, I know. But whenever you say effect, it's fine. Like, whatever, nigga. Whatever. Whatever. Actually, you know what? This card's not... Oh, like I said, it's only when my opponent declares an attack. That's what sucks about you, Pinko Wind Guard. So, you know... Maybe I'll go ahead and keep some of the insectors in. Like I said, I'm just I'm some of them I'm just not the biggest fan of. Like straight up, not the biggest fan of. Like I I don't really like you. I I put you in because why not? But like I said if I increase my sending and then literally just increase my revival, like instead of point point guard running powerful rebirth, then I could literally just send the insectors and then just revive them out of the graveyard and then they'll jump you. So. So I'll go ahead and send Hornet. So really, now I just need an Insector. As soon as I get an Insector, we'll have plays. Or you could just throw the MST in my pinpoint guard. Like I said, it wasn't going to get much use out of it anyway, because I seriously doubt my opponent's monster is going to declare an attack. So, not the best. Alright, that works. Now I can start going on the offensive, which is great. So I'm going to clip on a clip, pop, uh, centipede effect, ebell effect. I'll go ahead and you. Thank you to him. That's cool. I can start going on the offensive now. You no, know, I got the dragonfly. Or you could just fucking dark hole my ass. Like, oh, thank you. Wow, he's gonna actually gonna summon honest. Honestly, this man summon summoned the honest. Like, give me something to go ahead and beat the shit out of him with. Uh that's all forms of U-Bell. The 
I said I want you to summon a monster. Guess I can go equip on equip pop and start wrecking your shit. That's it. I don't think Cosmos run much back row, so. And then, as I say, he sets some back row. Just as I say it, that's, that's funny. That's funny. Well, I mean, I can go ahead and summon Debris, and Debris can go ahead and summon Hornet. I can go into Clear Wing. That's one of the plays that this deck can do. Wait, why the fuck did I put Yazi? So I put Yazi, but not Clear Wing, because I was like, oh, I like Yazi better than Clear Wing, but I can't go into fucking Yazi because it's a worm. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I, shit. How come I can't do anything right? I always fuck shit up. <laughs> Uh So I could black rose him. That's that's it. So I don't think this deck runs much back row, Cosmos. I also don't think that they have anything that has much booty to it. Oh, wait, they have the Serene Psychic Witch. Oh, wow, he literally just said honest. I didn't think he was going to do that. I, I didn't think he was going to do that. I guess I can go ahead and cast Ellen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I can X ton. Yeah, hugs ton. You spawn some summon? Okay, so, so, on summon, or chaining to effect. Okay, the chain resolves backwards. Good. Yep, there's that emergency teleport. Farm girl, farm girl, forerunner, and I take 900. <sighs> Better regeki at you. You get your fact, I don't care. So I'm in phase one, of course. Biggest asshole against me is definitely that forerunner. You get your effect, I get my effect. Unless you don't want your effect. In which case, I don't care. <laughs> Because I'm gonna blow it up anyway, so. Well, your effect will be chained to my effect, so I need to know what you're doing. If I were you, I wouldn't. If I were you, I wouldn't. Okay. Because I'm gonna get another search. That's the problem. Unless you're gonna, of course, have something special summoned from your hand, which I'm assuming you are. In your player's turn, you can banish this card. Yep. I'm assuming you will. And then do I have to... I don't think I have to destroy, but I think I definitely have to detach. So, if an equip card is sent from your... your well, equip to this card, except during damage step. Alright. Empty effect. So, even if he dodges out the way, I'll still get effect. 
So that's all that matters. You go ahead and go chain. Mm hmm. I said this deck is definitely a little bit floaty. Like don't underestimate this deck. It, it can float. It can float. It's like water. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and go into Leviathan. Like so he's slowly running out of resources because he's he's pulling shit from his hand. Like that's the problem. So eventually he's just gonna run out of shit to pull. You know. You know, it's it, the big cosmos is of course summoned from the deck, which is fine. That's kind of that's kind of floaty, but the small ones summon from the hand. So if you don't have, you know, especially since Farm Girl hasn't done any damage to me, so hopefully he gets an honest to be able to go ahead and do some damage to me, so he can continue his search and his play. Because right now, and I wish I could get fucking Yvel out of my hand. Fucking like Capulse is too good. So you're just going to go ahead and banish Farm Girl, summon another Slip Rider or something along those lines. Okay. Yeah, I'll say in the long run you're going to lose. You're running out of resources. You don't float like Burning Abyss. I told people that. Alright, not liking Ladybug. I'd much rather... Okay, so let me go over the deck. Let me go over the deck right now before I, you know... Uh, definitely write things down. I tried the Ladybug, she didn't really do anything. You know, she's just a weaker attack monster. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take out the Debris Dragon, I don't need it. So, let me go ahead and just banish it that I'm not planning on using. So, I'm gonna take out the Debris Dragon, I, I don't need you. You go ahead and go back to the extra. Uh, call, of course, the Call of the Hunted Survivor, that's all good. Uh, the Rodeki is fine, it's fine, 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 fine. This card, uh, it only wins my opponent declares an attack, so. Uh, it's a little slow, you know, so I thought it was literally I could just summon one, but it's like when your opponent cuts attack I don't know why I misread that so you're out. I'll probably play powerful burst instead uh, The tomatoes are okay. You know they help me summon Armageddon Knight speed me up The only thing is, is that I'm thinking about changing the ladybugs into hoppers Because I like copper because it's level 4 and it has, it's 17 beater So I like hopper better than ladybug even though you know all the XC plays like, I don't even know how to do the XC plays uh, so I'm not the big fan of the app. Not the big fan of this. I just I don't. I still don't see the point. Maybe I'll run as uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh my god, I forgot the name of that fucking card. The the Gigamantis. But you know, I'm gonna be running a lot more revival. So don't need you. Don't you? You like I said. It's. I mean, it sucks that you know all the chain is banned. But uh, like I said, I'd rather have access to rank four plays. Because, uh, you know, if I shit hits the fan, then I can rely on my rank 4 plays with, you know, synergy with, like, Hopper and shit. So, I said I'd much rather have Hopper. Uh, I'll probably up Dark Graffer to, to a higher level, number. You know, Dark Graffer probably 3, just to get my increased ending. So, literally, I, if you're looking at that, I should have 7 cards to work with. Yeah, 7 cards to work with. So, I run 1 Dark Graffer, so these 2 will be Dark Graffers. 2 more Dark Graffers. Then... These cards will probably get turned into a final card. Uh, like I said, I think the powerful birth, especially with you know me running the Dark Reference, Armageddon Knights, you know all the Insectors and stuff like that. Power bar powerful birth is much better because I literally just target a level four or lower. So the only card it won't work with is Ebel. But this, nah. And then probably two Hoppers. So two Hoppers, three powerful birth, two more Dark Reffers. and yeah, there we go. Yeah, then I'll have. Oasis Slim Reverse, Call of the Hunted, and Powerful Birth. That's 12 revival cards for Insect. Oh, and Soul Charge. For Insectors, go ahead and keep reviving them using their effects over and over again. Have better access to the Rank 4 engine, which means I can take out all this other Rank shit and just have more access to Rank 4 engines like Castell and 101 and stuff like that. So, there we go. So, if we decide, you know what, sure, you allow Insectors come back, then that's what we'll work with.
So I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode, people. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Find and Why. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with, I don't know, whatever the hell I decide. <laughs> That's literally this week. Whatever the hell I decide. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.